Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're continuing our journey to freedom and looking at the, the story in Exodus. And today we're in chapter four. But you know, God calls us to follow him. And, and if you've made that decision to follow Jesus, uh, you know, you've confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior of your life. You believe that he died on the cross for your sins and God raised him from the dead. And you've made that commitment to follow him. Then, then you've made a commitment that results in these promises in your life. Uh, you know that God loves you, God accepts you, you know that God is with you, you know that God uh, forgives you from everything you've ever done or ever will do, and you know that God will take you to be with him so that you're gonna spend eternity in heaven. And so we all know how this story ends, and, and most of us know kind of where that journey began in our relationship with Jesus, but, uh, it's the steps in between that oftentimes get really difficult for us as we try and follow Jesus. That's where we have to trust God. You see, in Exodus 4, Moses has finally agreed to obey God. Now, it wasn't an easy yes, but he finally got there, uh, you know, because that's really ultimately the only answer to give God when he asks you to do something, and that's yes. But uh, he tells his father-in-law, Jethro, he loads up his family, he, he gets ready to make the journey to Egypt, and then God kind of tells him the plan. Exodus 4, verse 21, And the Lord said to Moses, When you go back to Egypt, see that you do before Pharaoh all the miracles that I have put in your power. But I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my firstborn son, and I say to you, let my son go that he may serve me. If you refuse to let my son go, behold, I will kill your firstborn son. Now, that's what Moses is supposed to share with Pharaoh, and, and that's the message that God gives him. And it sounds like a simple plan, right? Show up, tell Pharaoh, hey, here's what's going to happen, uh, do some miracles, and then Pharaoh lets him go, and, and everybody's happy. Except it doesn't play out that way, and that's what we're going to be talking about in the next few weeks. So here's the thing. God has a plan for you. Let me say that again. God has a plan for you, for your life, to bless you, to lead you, to use your life to make a difference for this kingdom and for the people in your life. So God has a plan for you, and he wants to bless you. He wants to prosper you. He wants to grow you. He wants to use you to bless others. And it all ends with eternal life. So that's beautiful. But the difficult part is trusting God with his plan. And you're going to see how... Uh, the, the plan that sounded so simple to Moses gets really complex in the next few weeks as we go through this journey to freedom. But uh, let me just remind you, God has a plan. It's going to get complicated on the way to heaven. And that's where you need to trust God with his plan because his plan is better than your plan for your life. I hope you believe that and I pray that God blesses you today. Uh, have a great one, Calvary.